You know what the funniest thing about this Deshaun Watson situation is? Is the Caucasian men that act like they care about women. If Deshaun Watson was on the Seattle Seahawks and this happened to him there, these clowns in Cleveland, these Caucasians wouldn't give a flying fuck. But the reason they care is because Deshaun Watson booted their hero who they live vicariously through. Baker Mayfield out of the NFL, essentially, because nobody wants him. Let's call a spade a spade. If Baker Mayfield was this great quarterback like they claim he is, he would have been signed. They would have, someone would have said 19 million for a franchise quarterback. Oh, I'm taking that right now. But the problem is Baker Mayfield's a backup quarterback. So when you see all these Caucasian men on Twitter acting like they care about women, all oh, 66 people he went to see, they don't give a fuck. They're just mad because Baker Mayfield, their hero that they live vicariously through. I mean, imagine the men, grown men living vicariously through a fucking dwarf, backup quarterback. They're mad because Watson booted them off the team. The teammates love him, and now they call him a rapist when there's no evidence. He wasn't even charged with rape. It was sexual... Um, Whatever, he's getting blow Hey, bottom line, he's getting blowjobs by some massage therapists who claim they want a justice, but 20 of the 24 settled. It's never been about justice. Always been about that motherfucking money. That's all it's been about. And, uh, yeah, I want justice. No, you don't want justice. You want money. Ashley Solis, I hope she doesn't get a dime. Um, so, yeah, it's not been about justice. It's always been about money. Two grand juries did not indict a black man in Texas because they said... They knew what this was. They're like, I'm not putting this guy in jail for getting a blowjob. So the bottom line is this. You Caucasian men in Cleveland, Ohio, crying about Deshaun Watson booting your hero out of the fucking league. Quit with the charade that you care about women. You don't give a fuck about women. If you played in Seattle, you wouldn't even talk about this. You would care less. But since he's responsible for your hero, the clown you live, the dwarf you live vicariously through, who's a back, not even a backup. He's not even on a fucking team. Shows you how good he is right now. Nobody wants him. Name another quarterback that would be sitting where Baker Mayfield is right now and no one would sign him. Case Keenan would be signed before Baker. He already got signed. No one wants Baker. 19 million for a franchise quarterback. That's a bargain. Only problem is nobody looks at Baker as a franchise quarterback. He's a franchise clown. That's what he is. So, all you clowns out there acting like you care, only reason you care is because your hero got booted out of the NFL by a beast, a superior, athletic, freak, quarterback beast. We went from a bottom three quarterback to a top three quarterback, and you guys are crying about it. And I love the fact that you say you won't root for the Browns, but we all know you'll be rooting for them. There's no denying it. When the Browns play, when Deshaun Watson's winning games, you will be loving it. And you can say what the fuck you want, but you'll be loving it. Anyway, ta-ta, puppets. Fucking losers.